So in this video, I'm going to talk about on-page SEO optimization sheet. This is a sheet which includes all the factors responsible for on-page SEO optimization. In this particular sheet, I will explain you how you can create your on sheet and how you can note down all the factors of your on-page SEO. This SEO template will let you organize your website's on-page SEO formalize a plan, making it easier to coordinate pages and keywords, and track changes and the result all in one place. To make this template easy to use, this cover sheet will break down how to use each section. I will explain you how to use this particular template. First we have is the content type. This is the content type. So content type denotes the type of the pages you are working on. Is it your home page? your internal page, is it a landing page or a blog post, a product page or a thank you page. So it's important to note which page you are editing to keep track of. Now, how the edits related to the overall mission of the pages, you have to decide that. You have to note down all the pages here. After that, we have current URL. In case of current URL, it is something that can be entered manually or exported from a site crawler report. Next we have is current page title. So that is the page title will be exported with either tool or you can simply mention it from your website. For example, this is your company name. This is your home page current title here. This is the title here. This is the length here, length of your title. This is the length here. Now the current page description, that is a page description which is currently available. This is the length of your page description and that length should be 150 maximum length and here as you see that current page description length is 67. It means you need to add some more characters here. Now what's the purpose of your page? This is something you will want to manually define that is perhaps for each page or for a group of pages. You have to decide the overall goal of this page. Is it to provide product information, define solution, serve or execute sales? What's the end goal? Has the content of this page delivered that purpose? You have to mention it. Next we have is who is the targeted audience? Everything with the SEO starts with this key concept. Your targeted audience or buyer persona, as it's mentioned called, is the one for whom you are writing your content. If you do not know who you are writing for your content, will be aimless. So clearly define which persona type a page targets. Then you have added date. Make a manual note each time you edit a particular page. In the end, you cannot edit all the pages at once. So it will be good to note when changes occur. Especially, especially if you have to report progress back to someone like your boss or your client next we have is the new page title this is where the planning starts that is the new page means manually note or plan what you want your new page title to be for a particular page best practice for the page title is keyword keyword variation see example that is internet marketing software product name and title and this is the length of your page title here then we have new page description. That is, you have to enter your new page description. This should be a short declarative sentence that incorporates your keyword as you lay it out in your page title. In some. It should not have the content variation as you have it other. This is the length of your description. The length columns will make you sure that the other two. 13 characters limit and this will automatically be calculated for you and this recommended length of the page description is 150 characters. Next we have target keyword. Think of your target keyword as the designated topic for a particular page. Define one topic only per page. This allows you to go more into depth and provide detailed information. This means that you are also or you are also only optimized for one keyword per page. There are a few exceptions to the rule. For instance, your homepage, the goal of your homepage is to explain what your entire website or the business is about and thus 
you will need a few that is the typically four to do that overview pages like your product page which outline what all of your products may be may also be optimized for a few keywords ultimately this is the best interest of your readers or your audience because you are having to explain content and context next we have is the content that is your content need to be thoughtful clear and provide cohesion again write for your targeted audience how can you help them compiling content is also error free check spellings and grammar aims to have at least 500 words per page format content to make it easier to read and digest next we have header the use of headers as formatting help make content easier to read and digest it provide visual cues to your readers and search it typically the very first header is a actual on a page that is not always the case not necessary as long as you have clearly defined the purpose of the page somewhere at the top next we have subheaders subheaders serve the same purpose as headers only to break up the content visually further into smaller bite sizes next we have images another great visual cue to your readers is an image an image on your page especially for your blog post is a great anchor and draw to your content have the image be relevant and related to your content and large enough to draw interest be sure to the name and the image file appropriately the same rule applies name it with the keywords and provide context then again for your all text your anchor text that is your internal linking in case of internal linking any time you have content that makes a reference you need to provide a link to that reference source where it is your own content or your outside content when you link to your outside sources you have the option to passing as you credit or not that is no follow when you do not pass credit that link is your no follow means a search engine crawler will not follow the url or the link as long as the site is a reputable source however the best practice is to provide seo credit to that source as you link to it you should also link to content that provide more in depth information for instance if you have a overview page where the goal is just to highlight and briefly touch upon a subject and you have a deeper internal pages that goes into more detail be sure to link to that internal page. the text you use to create the hyperlink is called anchor text often you will see the word here that is click here and read more as an anchor text that works when appropriate however where whenever possible naturally incorporate a few words next we have description pages you can also add your description pages link here next we have social media sharing as we all know that social is a big seo so how the people use your content is a critical factor of the page performance so make it e easier for your people to share your content by including your share link in your description next we have call to actions so every page of your website is a conversion opportunity and every page of your website must include at least one call to action many pages may have multiple call to action when possible include a call to action at each stage of your buying funnel p o f u that is your top of the funnel middle of the funnel that is your m o f u and bottom of the funnel that is your b o f u as you add or credit or update call to action perhaps making them more relevant be sure to also not conversion rate and then you have no in case of not make sure if needed you may want to not if a page needs to be updated entirely because the content is out of date or perhaps a topic need to be explained further so this is my optimization template i will also mention this particular template link in uh, my description so you can also download this particular sheet from there thank you so much for watching this video